Hi everyone, it's Adrienne in New York City. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today is day, I think 12, maybe 12, maybe 11, I don't know. What does the title say? Um, of my 30 day, 30 lippy challenge. Uh, I actually did a full get ready with me of this eye look, which is coming up right now. And I applied this lippy, but if you wanna know now what lippy I am, uh, talking about. It is the MAC Luster Formula Lipstick. I, I am currently wearing Ladybug, which I adore. Um, and I also swatch, uh, later on in my Get Ready, I swatch two other shades, Plumful as well as Hug Me. So if you're interested, in doing uh seeing the, how I got this look I also I used the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie palette really enjoy that that palette and um and yeah so I just did a full face and wanted to chat and connect but if you are not interested in that shame on you no not shame on you you're absolutely here for the right reasons which is lipstick you can skip on till about the three minute mark at the end and hear about more thoughts on the lipstick. So anyway, enjoy. So I've already prepped my face. Um, it's feeling very dewy, very, very dewy to just my skincare. Uh, I used, let's see, let's see. Um, I used the Drunk Elephant, Ele, Drunk Elephant, Drunk Elephant C Firma Day, serum this is their vitamin c serum i have a mini size i never like to purchase this in large sizes because i do feel like it turns though it is so far my favorite vitamin c product i want to try other products um i have my eye on skinceuticals which is about 40 dollars more than the full size bottle of this um, I'm hoping it's more stable, but that's kind of on my wish list once I tr once I finish up all the vitamin C that I currently have. But of all the ones I've tried to date, if I don't use this, I notice a difference immediately. So this can banish uh, melasma, dark spots from um, from the sun or anything really, really quickly. It is potent, it has a potent smell or an odd smell, I would say, um, and it's not for everyone. It, it can make you your skin quite, um, I don't know, oily in a, in, in a way. Um, I like that because I have drier skin, but I could see with an oily skin, maybe this wouldn't work. I don't know. I, I do think it's one of their star products, which is why I continue to use it. So I started off with that. Um, I followed up with a few pumps of the double serum, something I started like last month and look at where I'm at. Jesus, the stuff, uh, it's addicting. Um, and then on my face, I'm trying today and I've been trying, this is my third application of it. Uh, the Clarins Gentle Day Cream for Sensitive Skin. I like this. It's not. It's not particularly um, like too scented, too heavily scented. Um, but it is quite thick, and I'm wondering if it's even too thick for me. I like this. is very creamy. Uh, it seems to have a very low water content, and I like creams that have just a kick more of water which is like the keels ultra facial for me has the perfect balance between like creaminess and kind of like absorption with with like the water if that makes if, if that makes any sense whatsoever i it's a texture thing it's a texture thing um so now i'm going to be applying the clarins beauty flash bomb this is um to be used as a primer it's nice. It's a very nice product. Um, I don't think if you use a lot of good skincare, you really need this layer. Um, I don't think it, it particularly adds any kind of real glow. I mean, you know, as I kind of roll my face with it on, it is very nice. It does, 
it does kind of do something in terms of feeling like your skin feels smoothed out. I just don't know that I need that in particular, if that makes sense. So that is the Beauty Flash Bomb. I'll use that for a little bit longer, but I'm, I might end up giving that away to my sister just because it's just an additional step in my routine that I don't think I need. Um, my lips are a little dry, so I'm just gonna, I'm putting on some lip balm as, this is the Liquefied Lip Balm by Thrive Cosmetics and Pumpkin Spice Latte. I did a whole video on this versus Milani. Um, it's a very nice product and it's, it is very nourishing. Uh, so next up, I think I have been using the It Cosmetics, like the rest of, of this, but I've also been trying to pan my milk because this I know goes bad and it's so far still smells good. And I love this product. So maybe we'll just do this. I'm really applying makeup just for fun right now. Um, I have been wearing my the lip product that I'll be applying at the end of the day. I've been wearing it all day without makeup, without a full face on, just to like give it a good try. But this is how I apply the um, the milk. I love this applicator. I love it because it hits this really hard ball roller, and as you're kind of putting it on your face. It's massaging your face. I don't know why people wouldn't love that. It's so nice. Oh, and if you have like headache or anything and you're like running it over like your forehead nerves, I, I get tension headaches. And it's such a, it's, it's like a therapeutic product to put on. And I mean, it's also so foolproof. Like you see, I didn't really apply that with too much care. And then I'm just taking a little baby baby bl uh, brush, nothing too densely packed, so it does move around. And I'm just sort of like flicking that product around. And it never looks cakey, it never looks, never looks bad. Um, now this color is medium, which when I was going out a lot, uh, sort of worked for me. I think, still think the product is so sheer, it still works for me, but I just recently purchased one on um, Sephora because it was on sale. Like it was having like a real special, it, it might still be on sale. Um, and I got it in light. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wanna do like trying it on half and half and see what the big difference is. But I feel like it is a foundation product I now can't live without like it's just too simple and it makes the skin look too nice and yeah i just and it has spf in it um it calls itself a tint but i feel like it does a lot more than just that yeah i just really really like it so i highly recommend i'm just looking really closely at my skin and yeah, it just looks so beautiful. And I had like these these healing kind of dark spots here, but then I have this little new friend. And you know, it did a little bit of a job covering it up. Nothing nothing too too crazy, but it's about what I would expect for, you know, a product to to add coverage wise. Um, for eyebrows, I have been trying to see if I like, um, I have an Anastasia Dip Brow. I have it in taupe. I have used it quite a lot. You see, like, it's, I've made quite a dent. It's sort of now really dried out. Um, and I was trying to determine if this is something that I should declutter or... Do I like the effect? So I've been using it all, almost all week. Use it like four times this week. And I have to say, it's really, really easy, <laughs> but it's it's quite dramatic. Um, it fills in the brow. I mean, I'm sure you can, I'm sure someone's gonna like look at this and be like, you're doing it wrong. But, you know, I want eyebrow products to be 
a easy to just put on real quickly. Um, and maybe I've grown like too accustomed to that. So that's quite dark. That's a little too dramatic. What's nice is you have you have a few moments to play around with it and get rid of excess product before it sets. And it's okay that it, it's gonna be dramatic because I'm gonna be doing a dramatic eye. <laughs> and I think a, an eyebrow that's like thicker, kind of more filled in actually looks quite nice especially if you're doing like a smoky eye. I'm wearing my Christmas, one of my Christmas PJs. This is like a little Christmas dress with flying reindeer everywhere. Um, Cause I've just been at home all day, trying to give myself a break, take care of myself. I mean, I'm home all day all the time, but what I mean by home all day is sort of like not have any expectations of myself to like accomplish something. I need one of those days at, at least per week. And so just kind of go with the flow. So I've been resting, napping, playing some video games. We recently got the Nintendo Switch and I have been playing Mario. What is it called? Mario Universe? Mario Galaxy? No, that's the other one. One of these cute little Mario, Super Mario kind of, Super Mario World. Um, and it reminds me of my childhood. I used to really be into, um, into Nintendo when I was younger. And actually, in my family, I feel like there's a lot of people who were into games in my family. My, my, uh, even like my grandmother was really good at games. Um, my grandfather ran a roller skating rink for a little bit. He managed it. And so this was the eighties. <laughs> and so, um, in managing the roller skating rink before it opened in the evenings, we kind of had a run to of the place and uh, they had some of those video game machines like the old fashioned Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galag Galaga, what else did they have? Like Hubert, like it was just an arcade. It was an arcade at the roller skating rink and my grandpa, he would just open the like where you keep the change, where you put the quarter in. And so when you open that up, you can just keep using the same quarter to play. And my grandmother had the highest score on, on no one could outbeat my grandmother's score on Mrs. Pac-Man. It was insane. And it was so far ahead, like it never changed. Like, so as people like would come in in the night and like play and no one overthrew my grandma. I mean, she was a beast. And later on in, in when we got like Sega and uh, Tetris was a big thing. My grandma loved Tetris, loved Tetris. Um, so yeah, so like gaming is in, you know, that was, that was gaming. I mean, I know gaming's become this whole other thing, but video games, we were pretty smitten with the technology and we had Atari, we had, um, on our Commodore 64, we played games. Um, I'm just using Glossier's, uh, what is this, stretch concealer in G11 to try to maybe slightly conceal what's happening above my lips, uh, but not too heavy, because again, I'm just at home. I just don't want it to detract from the lipstick. So, so yeah, and then I remember when I bumped into bumped into. I remember going to a party where someone had uh, like a Nintendo system and that's when Mario Brothers was around and I remember playing it at the sleepover and I was so smitten with this video game and I just became obsessed and I uh, my my mom got it for me for Christmas my parents did and 
um, I just, we were obsessed. We were obsessed. There was no internet. So it was like a way to connect too with kids because then you would talk about like cheat codes and like how to get unlimited lives and how far did you get and you would compete with each other just kind of like reporting back at school like oh I got you know however many points versus you or whatever it might be so yeah it was just a lot of fun I, lo I love I love that playfulness and it's also something that my husband and I bonded over um when we first got together he he loves gaming he has developed games before and um and yeah i was able to like appreciate that and kind of like maybe not reprimand him for playing games or kind of still having that child self alive and well uh so yeah we just got this it took a long time to get it but um yeah, we, we got it and it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun to kind of escape that way. And in fact, like I hear the music in my head. <laughs> That's what happens when you start playing video games a lot. Um, and I only like play like maybe an hour or so a day. I try to like limit myself. But even so, I just I can hear the music, the music in my mind. Um, I'm going to be using the butter. Am I, do I want to use the butter bronzer? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to be, I'm going to use one of a palette I have not used in a while that I love. Um, I'm going to use the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. This is the old packaging and this is the, the lighter. I think now they have a deeper version. So this is the lighter shade. If you don't have a lot of makeup, and you're looking for a fantastic palette, this is a fantastic palette. This is a one-stop shop. It's beautiful. The quality is beautiful. Um, it's just a beautiful palette. And it's for the price too, it's great. It's so good on travel. It is the palette I travel with the most when I was traveling uh, for work. I traveled quite a lot last year and this went with me everywhere everywhere um it's just so easy and I don't even I don't like travel with with uh, eyeshadow or anything and this one is just a beautiful one-stop shop and the 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 powders are just excellent 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 so I'm gonna use this I'm, I'm kind of just dipping into the bronzer shade and the contour shade and just kind of going back and forth um, and just using that. I want to use my, my, you know, what I have more, hopefully hit pan on some of this stuff because I think that's going to be my concentration for 2021. Just sort of like really playing around with that. Um, there's also some great highlighter shades here, so I will use those. So I'll use this lighter one which has like a rose gold effect to it and it's just it's very subtle it's really really pretty it does its job in giving you like some glow but it's not glittery at all this is so good like do not sleep on smashbox they have some great i feel like smashbox there's a couple of brands that i feel like they don't get enough respect anymore I don't know what happened but Smashbox is one of those brands and but this palette in particular is genius I wonder how the deeper tone one is I don't um I'm gonna try to look up a review on that because I would be curious to see did they were they able to sorry I'm looking for a blush brush um were they able to mimic how good this is for like light to medium skin tones were they able to do that for their deeper skin tone um clients clients customers and i mean the blush is just it's like the perfect blush this is a beautiful palette definitely if i was makeup mini minimalist i would be happy with this i, I would yeah, if I have to restart all my makeup, 
this would probably be the first thing I pick up because it's so affordable and you get so much and yeah that's it's it's just really really good so I love that I'm so happy I got to use that and you see it just kind of puts together the skin really nicely um, I'm not really powdering anything but there is a nice translucent powder in there as well that you can use instead um i just don't like the sensation of powder on my skin and today i am going to be using eyeshadow primer because i want to have a pretty dramatic look and I want it to stay put because one of the shadows I'm going to be using, I think, I don't know what I'm doing actually, but one of the shadows I'm using, I want it to be glittery and I want it to be able to stick somewhere. So I'm going to be using um, an eyeshadow primer to see if it helps. Again, kind of at home, I haven't been using eyeshadow primer too much because mm, I don't care a lot about like maybe the longevity of, of an eyeshadow, but in, you know, I don't, I also just don't want glitter everywhere. I, I don't typically use a lot of like glittery products. I'm sorry, I was wearing, I was getting my, my little color, color switch. Um, so yeah, I got two brushes from Nakia Joy Cosmetics. They just came out with brushes. She just came out. I really like her. She's a YouTuber, very joyous, lovely YouTuber. And the brushes feel very nice. They have a really good handle and everything. But I'm having a problem with one of them. So the one that I really, really like is the E07 flat shader brush, this one here. It's a really densely packed, larger than usual shader brush, really soft and has this like tapered edge. I really like this. My problem child right now is this diffused blend. I don't know if I got a bad one, but I do like the shape of it. It's really elongated, very cylindrical. And so it fits inside the socket really nicely. My problem is that already there's been shedding. I think I've used it three times. So there's, I've lost a few hairs already, which is strange. That shouldn't happen so quickly. And some of the bristles are quite pokey which that is pretty much a deal breaker. So I don't know that I'm gonna be holding on to that brush for long. But I was, I was pretty sad about that actually. I was gonna write them to see, maybe I got a dud and I'm going to because I think that's fair. You have to give companies the opportunity. So the, the, <laughs> the shadow, I should have done my eyes first. I'm gonna be using the At Forest site, the Raw Beauty Christie with ColourPop. It's this beautiful um, jewel toned palette. And I've done a, a few eye looks with it and I'm very, very impressed. I'm gonna to try to recreate one eye look that I did, but now I realize it might get very messy. I'm gonna start off with this black and the black has these beautiful um, kind of copper, micro glitter so hopefully this sticks well but i'm just sort of starting with the black on my lid this look is not for everyone <laughs> let me preface that but i was actually really impressed with how well um the micro shimmers in this mat, they stayed put. They, it they stays put really well. Like if I look, well, you see right now, it's not really staying as put as it can. I'm gonna try my finger. Okay, yeah. So, 
So you can't really probably tell on camera, but you can see those little micro glitters. And there it's just a nice effect. on the eye. So I'm making like a small little dome shape uh, because I'm going to go in and use a couple of other colors to blend. And I'm hoping to play with that copper shade. You know, kind of the, the copper element of this shade. So this is quite a dramatic eye. I was thinking like more of a holiday look, nighttime, going to a bar with friends. Oh, there's a Christmas tradition normally uh, that happens this time of year. My friend from Texas, she comes up, I mean, she lived in New York for so many years, but now she lives in Austin. She's originally from Austin. And she comes up, ooh, lights, camera, action. Um, so my friend, she comes up from Austin and she organizes this walk, this like uh, light, uh, I think she calls it like light the night. Light the night, maybe. Um, it's a really beautiful tradition. I use this, um, kind of burnt orange color called Rainier. Um, so she organizes this walk through Manhattan where we meet up at a bar um, downtown actually, like one of the oldest bars in, in uh, New York. We have a drink and from there, and it's really way downtown like by the financial district by the South Street Seaport area. And we walk, combination of walk and take the subway up and we hit certain, um, certain other bars and, you know, Christmas kind of, or holiday decorations throughout the city. And we end up at Rockefeller Center and that whole area to see the tree. And I've done it a few times with them, I think three times with them, uh, but it's something they've been doing for years and years. She has a really beautiful group of friends. And so I'm a little sad that that's not happening this year because I had such a nice time, even if Sometimes that the groups are larger than others, like some years. Uh, and sometimes the weather just isn't great on the night that, you know, we choose to go or that is, you know, it's chosen to go, but it's still really, really quite, quite something. It's quite something. So I used to love that tradition, being able to walk through and we would go around 34th Street, start looking at all the store windows which are really really nice and every so often if it I mean if it was very cold we would stop into another bar and have like a quick drink and um yeah it's just a really nice tradition with friends so I was thinking like oh if we had the light the night what eye look would I wear I think this is the eye look and, and the lipstick that I've been wearing all day would totally be the lipstick because it's comfortable and the color is like a very fun holiday color. So yeah, oh, 2020 I cannot end soon enough for me. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I feel like there's the energy and the world feels like they were collectively exhausted. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just, this is going to take a while. Maybe I will do this and I'll come back for the next step. Let me do that. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this, to, to start with black is a bit much sometimes. So, I mean, it's obviously a very special occasion, but I just had to keep going back and forth and blending. And so I blended out first 
that black by itself. Then with a little bit of this color, Rainier, and then a little bit of this color, Chartreuse, Chartreuse? no, Chanterelle, Chanterelle, Chanterelle. And I kind of, so you'll see the gradation of that mustard color even into the inner corner. I really like this look. It's very dramatic. It's very smoky, smoky, smoky. Um, I like kind of like a heavy eyelid look, if that makes sense. I just, I think it's it's flattering on my eyes. So I'm not going to put a ton of stuff underneath my eye. Um, maybe I will just do a tiny bit of the shade Chanterelle. I'm just going to pick up a little a little pencil brush and put a little bit of that shade right around the outside corner of my eye. Uh, actually, it's okay to carry it inward too. You know what, I am gonna do that. So I'm carrying it just slightly inward and outward. Um, and I'm just using a really small pencil brush. This is a, a Refer 03 brush. Uh, I have opinions about this brush. I have opinions about Refer. I feel like so many YouTube people can't stop talking about the quality of Refer. And though I will say, yes, the brush is nice. The handles are terrible. No one talks about that. They have absolutely no weight in them which actually makes it difficult to work with. No one talks about that because everyone's getting paid to sell refer brushes. I mean, it's it's so crazy. Be, be aware, people. When you see too strong of a trend, a push, it's, it's, it's a bit much, it's a bit much. Um, so yeah, I was not happy with my refer purchase. I actually just bought like three I did not buy this set, but I bought the three shapes that I thought were the most unique and that I could really use. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, they're not as, they're not worth the price tag that is attached to them if they're not on sale. And I doubt that they're worth the price tag when they're on sale. The plastic on the on the brush handle or whatever they use, it feels so cheap. And um, when you hold it, it's just like you're holding nothing. So easily you can fling the brush while you're blending across the room. It's happened to me. Suddenly you start to realize what's important if you're doing brush design and you should have a weighted handle. I don't know if that's the case for like painting, like regular painting, if you want a weighted handle or not, but at least with makeup, yeah, you, you want a little bit of, of weight for sure. So right now I'm putting mascara, just one coat, because I'll put a second coat after I put a little bit of sparkle on my eye. So this is the eye look so far. I hope you like it. Is it pretty? I like it. I like it. It's nice. Now I want to see if I have, oh, no, maybe I can use, so the, the glitter this time around for some reason wasn't as prominent. So I think I'm going to use, I don't want to make it too bright. So there's two shimmery shades. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. That's going to make it more green. Ooh. So there's this gold and green. Part of me. No, I should use the gold. So I'm going to use West Coast and I'm just going to tap. Now I am not going to pat this on and make it the center of my, of my look. I want it to be light and flaky because I don't want to lose the darkness of that black. I think a lot of times when people um, take a shade, like a topper shade, and, you know, they kind of rub it on their eye to give it a really... I don't want to interfere too much with the darkness of that that black. I like that black. So I just took that gold and although I could get that payoff, that really bright payoff, I'm just transferring just enough 
to give it some shine, some depth, um, and that's it. So I'm gonna take that West Coast again, same finger, and I'm just gonna tap it, tap it, lightly, lightly tap it. I love using my fingers to apply makeup. <laughs> I think fingers are so, like, especially like base products, fingers are wonderful really wonderful so that's the eye look so you see it did brighten it a little bit by adding that that um goldy color i like it i think it's it's very sophisticated very very pretty pretty um i'm gonna do one more coat of mascara this is the nabla major pleasures Oh, and I did have some fallout so on this look, so I just wiped wiped it off and it did not easily come off, so I did have to use like a white wipe. But I'm not using concealer today. So this is the look. This is the look. I'm not look I'm not going for perfection. No perfection here. Just fun. So I'm not going to like pile on under eye stuff to cook dinner it's not gonna happen so now we get to the lippies i think i'm i'm all i'm all done with the face so hopefully you like this drama so the lippy i've been wearing all day today is uh hug me by mac it's a it's a luster and i have actually three luster lipsticks from max collection i like the luster formula i thought it would be fun to um show you all three colors i have so if you want to compare or you are thinking of buying any shades you know what works what doesn't uh so let's start with i'll go from lightest to darkest because i want to end with the red that i have um so the first is Hug Me, and that's what I will be putting on right now. And it's this beautiful kind of brownie nude color. Uh, oh, you know what? I still had a little too much lip balm. So um, Hug Me is a beautiful brownie nude. So this is one of the few nude lipsticks I own. Again, I, I've mentioned this in videos before. If I'm gonna wear a nude lipstick, I'm probably gonna do a lip balm or lip gloss. I I don't see the point of a nude lipstick. I just, I, I don't, I don't. It's not where I like to, to invest my money. However, this, li uh, this luster formula of MAC is very balm-like. So it's it's not completely opaque. There's some transparency. It's really, really, has a really nice color depth to it. You can build it up a little bit. Uh, but really, this is like the perfect nude for me. I love this nude. Would I wear this nude with this eye look? Yeah, absolutely. Is this the look I was thinking of going for? No, I wanted to wear something more festive, like I'm going out with friends. But um, I'll just swatch it on my hand. So this is Hug Me. And it has has that wonderful MAC sugar, warm vanilla sugary scent. So that's, that's Hug Me. So it's a pinkish brownie. It's, it's really, really pretty. I mean, it's just easy to freaking wear. I love lipstick that's easy to wear. I don't like fussy lipstick. I, I really don't. Um, I have a few fussy lipsticks in my life, but it's not like that's not where where I like venture to on a daily basis. I mean, I'm doing this 30 day stuff, you know, to to use every single one of my lipsticks and understand like what I like and don't like. But truly, uh, I don't like fussy. So I'm just removing that really quickly. The next shade I have, and I have a little mini version. I got this this year in a little gift set. 
this was an amazing gift set. It's like the, the gift set that has all of the, all of the MAC lipsticks, uh, like 12 or something. It's fantastic value, fantastic value. Um, so this one is plumful, plumful. It's right here. I mean, I'm basically, this is, this is the size that all my lipsticks should be. I wish companies would just embrace minis. I feel like it's, I mean, they would make more money if they invested in minis. Mm, it's just so balmy. It has such a nice texture. And again, you can build it up. This is like a cool tone um, plum color. I'll just swatch it in the back of my hand. Uh, would I wear it with this eye look? Absolutely not. This is not the pairing that I imagined, but I thought you would want to see what... Uh, what Plumful look like in the Luster formula. Again, so it has this like nice sheen to it. It's not super high glossy. It has a sheerness. It's really pretty. So that's Plumful. And last but not least is the shade that I really thought about when I created this look. And I'm just going to actually... Where did my brush go? I wanted to just kind of take my foundation brush and just pat my lips a little bit. It's also getting very warm in my bedroom. And so that's a good way to do that. Um, and so the last color is Ladybug. Number one, get cute of a name. Get cute da. Get cute da. This is very Miami of me to say. But it's true. Get cute da. Ladybug. And of course it's red, but it's not an intimidating red because it's that sheer formula. It's it's like a medium sheer. I think that's what they call it. The luster formula, it's super comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna put it on really lightly at first, just so you can see. What's also nice is it's easy to you know, apply and not not worry too much about the lines and things because it's sheer. So you can kind of clean it up just with your finger or anything if you happen to kind of stray, stray, create, you know, too voluminous of a look. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do one more layer. So this is like one layer applied. This is also sort of how it looks as it starts to wear down. So if you're kind of curious. So that's why I would totally wear this running around the city, like going to bar from bar to bar. I can also kind of quickly apply it on the side and I don't need like to run to a bathroom and like reapply it. But if I'm having drinks or stuff, this is sort of the blotted kind of look that it would yield, which I think is really nice. It just kind of brings some, some, um, color to my lips, but it's not too much. And I don't think it competes a lot with this. Of course, I mean, try to ignore the the flying reindeer all over me. I wouldn't be wearing this, people. I would be wearing like a cool black sweater, but you know, it is what it is. So this is the color. I haven't applied it yet to the top, but you could see. There you go. So this is Mac's Ladybug. And I have to say, Mac makes amazing lipsticks and I'll just swatch it really fast. In the back of my hand. So those are the three shades that I have, Hug Me, Plumful, and Ladybug. They're all beautiful, but most importantly, the formula is beautiful. It is not 
as drying. I mean, it's nowhere near like the matte, retro matte formulation of MAC, which I'm not a fan of. And the satin is even, I do have a couple of satins and it's nice, but it's not my favorite. Um, this is edging, veering very closely into my Love Me formula, which I love for MAC. That's my favorite formula ever of MAC's. So, um, yeah, it's still a great formula though. And I feel like if you had stopped using MAC lipsticks like I did because you didn't like that matte feel, it just didn't feel great on the lips, as beautiful as some of the colors were, you just were like, oh, it kind of like sucked the life out of your lips and you stopped using it wearing MAC or even buying MAC. I know I did lip products when it was really, when I was a big fan, you know, back in the day. Um, this was like sort of my reintroduction to it was the Love Me line and now kind of experimenting with some other finishes and really paying attention to finishes and what I like. So anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a long one getting ready with me um and yeah tomorrow we'll be back to short and sweet probably all right everyone i hope you are doing well and i'll see you soon bye